I want to show you how you can revert or get rid of changes that you've made um, if you, you make a change um, on accident so or something you want to get rid of. Okay, so let's say um, I add this line that I don't want. Okay. So, and, and I've saved it. And so now I've got this chain, this um, change here. I've got one change, and let's go ahead and uh, stage that. So I've staged that, and I add a commit. So um, add uh, that change. Okay, there we go. Just committed that, and let's say I have pushed that. So now this line that I don't want, it's both here on my local repository, but it's also up in GitHub. And let's say I realized that, oh no, I didn't like that. I don't, I don't want to have that there. Well, I can go to the history and I can quite easily get rid of that just by clicking this button right here. Revert changes. And I do that. Boom. And now you see that line has disappeared here. I see uh, something added in the history, so it's reverting the bad change. That's the name I gave the commit. It's not yet on GitHub. You can see here, it's not there yet. So I need to click it, and that is pushing it up to GitHub. So I got rid of that commit that I didn't want. So you can see it's, it's pretty easy to get rid of changes. And if, um, if I was just changing like one file at a time and committing the changes on that one file, I could go back, you know, earlier here and find the change that referred to the one file that I was trying to change and just do that one that, you know, I can go back farther in the history. It just doesn't make sense if I've made multiple changes to a file to go, you know, multiple commits back. Okay. So sometimes what you would really like to do is go back in history and get rid of a whole lot of changes. Maybe you've made changes to multiple files and a ton of bunch of stuff and you just realize, ah, oh, I hate this. I just want to go back in time. That's called a hard reset. So that button right here is that hard reset. And if I click that, it is going to return my repository, everything that I've changed, back to this point in time. Now, a hard reset is, um, is not something that I think I, I have used in the last, I don't know, five years. And I am on GitHub constantly. But, you know, when I was starting... I, um, I often completely destroyed my repositories and I, I really wanted to be able to do a hard reset. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Just keep in mind that like if you're collaborating with somebody and you're both working <laughs> quite a bit on this repository, you know, often the hard reset is, is not something you want to do without communicating to them. Um, but if you're just working on your on your, by yourself, you're the only one working on this repository. Uh, nothing that bad is going to happen. You're just going to reset it to back to some time in history. So I'm going to click that, and it's going to warn me. Yeah, great. Okay, but now you see this kind of something strange happened here like this it's telling me hey you've got changes on github that aren't here well yeah that's true because i um i i haven't like reset things up on github so github has all those later changes and now it wants me to pull those back in and if i did that i'd just be putting in all those changes i was trying to get rid of so let's say well Let's, let's push these, this change up there. So I do that. And you say, it says, no, you can't do that. And what it thinks is going on is that there's, there's a merge conflict here. And, well, it's longer, but that's a basic idea. Okay, so what do you do?
So what you need to do is do what's called um, a force push. And for that, you're going to have to go to the command line. Let me show you how that looks. So I'd say new terminal. Um, I need to get to um, my repository. So I'm going to cd to test one. And then it's uh, the command is uh, git push f and then origin. So origin is GitHub. So I'm saying, yeah, I want you to do this, forcing you to do it. And there we go. And now you see it, it, it doesn't think that GitHub is behind any, I mean, it doesn't think GitHub's ahead. So you've seen how to do a, a hard reset. Like I said, you know, I use GitHub constantly and uh, I never do a hard reset. But when you are first beginning, you will sometimes totally mess things up and will want to do that. So now you've seen how to do it.